Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. So, I am working on the Devlin. Yeah, the Devlin has got a kind of a new look to it right now. It's bare wood. Well, not completely bare wood. It still has a sanding sealer on it. 220 grit sandpaper. Cleaned off what was on here as far as the finish goes. Left the sanding sealer. Which is kind of a good thing because every time I put a piece of tape on this top for measurements and shit to make my marks, uh... I'd peel off the tape and clear coat came with it. So I was like, okay, that dish shit's got to go. Plus, I added some filler wood inside of here where the old cutout was just to make it look just a little bit more prettier. And uh, when I'm using the templates, you know, I'll ride the templates to make the cutout, you know, look nicer, more professional. Uh, so I had to sand the wood down anyways, well, to make everything flush. All the openings, cracks, if there's any gaps or whatever, has all been filled. So everything is nice and smooth. You don't even feel the transition from one wood to the other. I got a couple, I got some maple in here, and then I have a piece of oak inside here. And that's going to help with, you know, strength and stuff too. And hopefully, expansion and contraction doesn't cause a problem later on where it starts to crack around the uh, Floyd area. A lot of this is going to get cut out, and a lot of it you're not even going to see. But there are going to be some corners that you may see, might see uh, when the finish is put on the guitar. So I have the first template. The hardest thing to do is to make sure your measurements are correct and make sure that everything lines up where it's supposed to line up. For instance, this template calls for, these are your two mounting screws. So you want to run a ruler down the side of your fretboard, mark a line on both sides, Measure that, find center. All right, find center is center with the template. That's good. Measure from where your nut is all the way down to where your bridge is going to be, where your bridge mounts are going to be for a Floyd Rose. And that's supposed to be 25 inches, okay? Not 25 and a half, but 25 inches. 25 and a half will bring your bike back here. So that gives you your mount. So, so right now what I'm going to do is route this out these two holes here are mounts. This one here is basically just a extra hole to hold the template down, which I will fill if it goes through. If it goes down too much when I route this out um, and there's left a hole, uh, that's going to be filled. So I'm going to get started to cutting this up. Ta-da! All right, so here she is. Bridge is lined up. Strings are lining up on each side of the neck the way they're supposed to. And there is room to bring this up and down with no problems. You adjust your intonation. It should clear the body with no problems back here. And, you know, everything is good. Now to get a finish on this. Get it in primer and uh, get it done.